Stu here with more on what that supply chain crunch means for businesses and your wallet this holiday shopping season is CNBC senior retail reporter Courtney Reagan. Courtney, good morning. It's nice to see you following the Thanksgiving holiday. So leftovers, we'll save those. We've got some shopping to do here now. So you got supply chain issues. You got the shipping delays. You have inflation. Are we expecting this to be a quick start to the shopping rush? Yeah, it's good to see you. Good morning, Peter. Yeah, you know what? I actually think shoppers are really reinvigorated this year. After last year's sort of strange year all the way around, including the holiday season, you're seeing a lot of excitement for shoppers wanting to get back to the stores. 108 million Americans are expected to shop today, 64% of them in store. And we know a lot of online shopping has already happened, not just yesterday on Thanksgiving, but actually in the days and weeks leading up to it. Seven out of 10 shoppers started their holiday shopping before Halloween, largely because they've been worried about availability because of what's going on in the supply chain and everything that we've been talking about. And as a result, more than 60% of them have already seen stock out or out of stock messages on some of those key items. Well, Courtney, you Take me to my next question, which is the supply chain. I think the issues there are giving a lot of people concern this holiday season. So are people going to get the gifts that they want? Are they going to be on the shelves? You know, I think the concern is merited, but what I would say is that the largest retailers are going to be the ones that are best equipped to handle this. Walmart, Target, Costco, Home Depot. They're big enough that they were able to charter their own ships to really take control of the timing of that inventory. They all reported their earnings. They say they're ready to go. They've got inventory planned. And remember, these Black Friday doorbusters are almost always in short supply. That's sort of all part of it. But you do want to make sure to have a plan when you go to the store, know what you're looking for, and know what price you should expect to pay as well. So talk about those deals. That's what everybody's looking for, the best way to get those deals. And should we expect things to be a bit more expensive this go around? Yeah, so the name of the game is discounts, deals. That's what Black Friday and this big sort of cyber weekend stretch is all about. You will expect deals, but they will likely be a little bit less deep than what we've seen in years past. So for a range, analysts are thinking deals would be somewhere between 5% and 25% off as opposed to maybe 10% to 30% off like we've seen in years past. Of course, that's an average. It's going to vary wildly. And part of that has to do because retailers are paying more for their employees in store. They're paying more to get those goods to you. And of course, in general, inflation is higher by about 6% on average. But really, you're going to pay the most for consumable items, things at the grocery store, or any energy prices, so when you go to the gas station, your heating bills for your home, anything you buy at the auto dealership used or new cars, that's where it's most expensive. Our shopping lists are ready. Courtney, mm -hmm. always great to see you. Thanks so much. Good to see you both. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.